Right, a question on centre of mass from June 2010. Question 4, Ed Excel, M3 paper. So here's the question. Obviously pause and read the question carefully. It's a cylinder with a cone removed from it. And the first part of the question wants us to find the distance of the centre of mass of the whole thing, the cylinder with the cone removed, from O, from the centre of the top plane face. So as usual with problems like this, we need to create a table of masses and distances. And I've done that on the next page already to save um, to save time on the video. You can verify these masses and distances yourself. What you need here is to look up if you don't already know it, and I don't uh, I don't expect you to to have learnt it. The centre of mass of a solid cone is h over four from the base. That's in your formula book. So in this case, it's a distance of a quarter of 4L from the base, which is a distance of L. And that's in the table here. So this table's got the masses of the whole thing, the, the, the new thing, that is the new shape, which is the cylinder minus the cone. I haven't put in the pi L cubed terms in here. But those are the masses if you work them out. And you can check that. To simplify things when we take moments, I'll use the masses in the ratio 68, 72 to 4. So all we've got to do now is take moments about the top plane face. And what we've got then is 68 times x bar is 72 times 3L. Uh, minus 4 times L. Uh, be careful because that cone has been removed from it, so it's a minus there. And when you tidy all that up, you get x bar equals 53L over 17. So you might like to pause the video and just check you can get, get that. So that's the first part done. And the second part of the question has the, the container resting on a plane. It's a rough plane, which is sufficiently rough to prevent it sliding down the plane. So we're told it's on the point of toppling. Now you know that when, a, when an object's on the point of toppling, the weight acts through... Well, it acts like I've shown here. So there's the, there's the weight from the centre of mass, and it acts through the corner, and the whole of the normal reaction acts there as well. And all the rest of these... All the rest of the bottom of this container is just leaving, on the point of leaving the surface. So effectively the whole reaction acts here. And the weight also acts through that point. So having drawn that diagram, we've got to find the angle. Now I've shown theta. Again, take a moment to just check that you're happy that, that theta is also this angle here that I've shown. Right. So it's easy enough to find tan theta in there because we know the two sides of this triangle. So, let's do that. We need, first of all, to work out 6L minus X bar. And that works out to be uh, 6L minus 53L over 17. That's 49L over 17. Now, tan theta, then, is 2L, which is this length here, divided by 49L over 17 then. So that's 34 over 49, and that gives us theta equals 34.8 degrees. And that's it done. So where were the marks for that question? Let's have a look. Six marks for the first part, four marks for the second. For those six marks, there were three marks for the table. One mark specifically for the um, for getting the, the distance of the centre of mass of the cone, and another M1A1 for setting up a table and getting the correct values in there. So three marks for the table. And the other three marks were one method and two accuracy marks for doing this moments correctly. So M1A1 and one more A1 for the right answer. 
So that's the six marks for the first part of the question. And for the second part, just four marks, I believe. Yeah, just four marks for that. An M1 for working out this distance. An M1 and an A1 for working out tan theta from the triangle. And a final A1 for finding the correct value of theta. So thanks for listening. I hope that was helpful. Here's some information about the Further Math Support Program. Thank you.